We live. Welcome back. Everybody. This is episode 120, season three, episode 16. Brought to you on, what is this? Monday, April 30th. Is it 30th or the 29th? 30, 30 2018. Last day, last day of this damn painting challenge. Man, last day, son. Last day, man. All right. I am Larry, aka Blue Man Real. Happen to be in your ears and in front of your eyeballs again. I am joined as usual by my main Damien. Now that Mike, aka Scoffing, aka Real Talk. What's up, though? Are you using your voice meter today? No, nah, dog. It's just me. Uh, no, because I mean, did you move your mic or something? Because all of a sudden, you sound. Yeah, it's right, it's yeah. right here. It's right here. Yeah, you got about sound, three you fingers. Sound, yeah, you sound very, um, fair, very professional today. Like, it's. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, you know, maybe, want to, maybe you want to scoot up a little bit. Be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to get your game right. You got hold on, hold on. Let me give a chair right. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you sound like real professional shit today. And I'm like, Bruh, I don't sound like that. I had to stop using my voice meter. It kept causing too many damn problems. But um, but yeah, man, it's the, it's the last day of the month. Uh, last right. day of this painting challenge. I'm so I, I'm glad I did it. Me and Simpson up in here. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm glad What's I up, did fellas? it, but I'm also I'm I'm also glad that it's almost over. Okay, yeah, I'm mad I didn't get a chance to get you some colors to you, but it's all good, man. Oh no, I'm I'm cool. Okay, because so, I, I want black and orange. That's what I want. Black and orange, black and orange. I did a painting on Saturday for my sister. Uh, and she's a Steelers fan. And even though she really wants the one that I made for Black Panther, I made a uh, I made a black, purple, and silver one. And she really wants that one. But because I had her on the brain, she's a Steelers fan. So I went ahead and made a, a Steelers colors. But I couldn't get that damn black and yellow song out of my damn head after that. <laughs> and every time, every time I walk past it, because it's still drying over there. Uh, I every time I walk past it, just something in me just goes black and yellow, black and like it just. <laughs> It's just calling it's, out I mean, to you, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, it does every single time I walk past it, it, it pops in my head, and I'm like, I'd be so happy to get rid of this thing. I hope somebody, I hope somebody chooses that one. So I, so I already set the page up. Um, All right, I yeah, have, I saw I that. Have, Pre- yeah, peace I have through crafts, right? Peace, peace through colors, arts and crafts. Peace through, peace through colors, arts and crafts. I knew. Now, it was, yeah. Here's what here's what the name came from. Somebody uh, on Facebook um, a couple weeks ago, I think, um, said. Um, do like your age as like like chapter, you know, like chapter whatever, and then mm-hmm. title entitled the chap this chapter in your life. Oh, uh, so they want you to kind of mark it down like a season, like yeah, forty two. Yeah. yeah, so so I so I put um I put chapter thirty eight piece through colors, and it that just kind of stuck with me because this this whole painting experience uh has been very very peaceful and very um i guess i guess you could say fulfilling in some way shape or form because i'm 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 really getting a lot out of this um uh, so through, through the through the creative process through the learning process um and you know uh, so i'm getting a mm-hmm. lot through this but it, it's adding a sense of peace um to my sometimes troubled mind all right now that's no. it. I'm I'm extremely happy that you are you have found a new avenue for peace. I'm very happy about that. Mm-hmm. Now let's let's take it back eleven years. What would two thousand seven Scarfinger think about two thousand eighteen Scarfinger? He would like Ninja, you painting like would he? Would... <laughs> no, I think <laughs> because two thousand seven Scarfinger was real angry at about a lot of things. Yeah, I I would think. Um, I don't know. I think I think. 2007, I would think, I would think, I, I would be like, I, I would, I think I probably would have just asked myself, nigga, what happened? Like, <laughs> like, Why are you paying? No, no, it's, I mean, it's just everything. Like if you if you think about it from the, the perspective of my 2007 self and then right. like where, you know, where I am in my life right now, and you know, like, and even if I had, even if I had to explain this to my 2007, so <laughs> would that conversation go? I'd be like, look, B, <laughs> uh, it'd, be, it'd be like the, the conversation would start like this. Now, I know we don't drink, but I'm gonna get you drunk today because we got some things. 
we got some things to talk about. Right? Right. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot of things that didn't happen uh, between, but you know, between then and now, last ten years or so, um, we we got some things to discuss, and right. there's gonna be some, uh. there's there's gonna be some changes, especially in 2013. Um, yes. That that you're not necessarily gonna be ready for. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it's okay for you to uh, feel the way that you're going to feel about it. Like, how would you approach just, yourself? Just, just don't, just don't put it on social media. Like <laughs> that's what I was. Just don't put it on social media. Just don't throw it out like, there. Just leave the Twitter, leave the Facebook, leave the audio boo. I mean, I ain't got, I ain't gotten so much trouble. Uh, in those in the, in the early days of everything breaking apart, um, like I got so much trouble just from my inability to keep quiet. Uh huh. And then, like for real, <laughs> like my um, and and the the crazy part about it is when when you know, and and I just I would just tell myself like, um, there's gonna be there's gonna be a time where you're gonna feel like April the 29th is the worst. Mm. But yeah, then it's, then you're gonna feel like then you then you're gonna let the day fly by and you're gonna think of it in passing and not feel anything. Hmm. That's what happened to me yesterday. Uh, I you know I even I even saw Sherry yesterday because oh, I had Pooh Bear. To oh, yeah, that's right because you had to take you had to take Pooh Bear back. Yeah, yeah. and I didn't even. Think with my girl, oh, uh-huh. I didn't think about it until I the end of the painting challenge. Mm, okay. So like the the so it never even crossed my mind that this was that day until like we were having that conversation. I go, huh? Today's the 29th. All right. Like you know me. Like is so like if I was to have a conversation with my uh, twenty uh, two thousand seven self. I would just right. be like, look, all right, everything gonna break apart. Mm-hmm. But in the end, you're gonna be okay. But you're gonna go okay. through a whole lot. You're gonna go through yep. a whole lot. But just just understand that on on the other side of this, you're gonna come out okay. okay. But bruh, it's gonna be real. It's gonna be really real. real. It's gonna be really real. real. Really real. <laughs> so what, Man, would you, no. what would you what would you say to you? Be like, uh, so I think my first one would be like, would be like, come on, son, how you let yourself go? Um, my two thousand seven self would be like, you know, I ain't let you. But if I were to speak to my two thousand and seven self, I would say, <laughs> you, do, you do, you do realize, you you do realize we ride a bike now, right? You like, right. and that, and yeah. We we go mountain biking now. That's just something we do. Like the first thing I be, I had to be like, look, man, I'm sorry, I got to tell you this, but it ain't no more hooping as you in 2018 because you got some extremity issues that uh that arose up without your um for foresight. So um, I think the biggest thing I would probably tell myself, though, honestly, I would tell myself that um, look, man, you're gonna have way more jobs in this time period than you want. You're going to be unemployed for stretches of time much longer than you anticipated. Um, however, just keep your faith because God will still be faithful to you. Like, that would be what I would say to myself. All the time. <laughs> well, 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 well. God is good <laughs> all the time. That, I, I remember that from that's, that's grandma. Back in the day, right? That's back all in the day. That's, grandma that's, the, that's the whole song. God is good all the time. They don't say nothing else during that song except for God is good all the time. A lot of times, uh, you time. don't, <laughs> you don't need more than that though. To be honest with you, um, but I do want to say something, man. Since we got a couple people on, so um, so I hit up Meef J. Meef J's birthday wasn't too long ago. I'm trying to find when it was on Facebook because I commented on his page. Um, so belated happy birthday to him. I don't know even know if I threw it. We threw it out here on 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 here, but um, secondarily. Uh, my boy Simpson, his birthday was, I think, yesterday. So, um, happy, happy, happy Simpson. belated to Simpson. Happy belated to Simpson. Simpson, what kind of socks you had on yesterday, dog? Did you have on birthday <laughs> socks? You know, you know, he was out here clowning in these in these socks, man. <laughs> you know, he had argyles or something, man. So, um, 
Yeah, no, Main Street, my, my Kanye Main Street interview voice now, nah, dog. Yeah, um, yeah. like, you know what? You know what? The two, my, 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 my 2000, my 2018 talking to 2007 has to start like this. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> like cradles, <laughs> like cradles, like cradles. <laughs> Boy, yeah, you yeah, gotta man. make you gotta make finger pyramids to explain this to yourself and everything. You gotta clap. <laughs> you gotta clap. <laughs> emphasize <laughs> important moments. But now nah, Simpson, uh, Simpson said he had the birthday socks on Friday. The Bob Ross slash Ric Flair drip socks. Come on, son. I like that song. But let me tell you about the Ric Flair drip song. Um, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, so I I like the Migos. Like I I'm, I get I kind of get it now. I kind of get the Migos thing now. But um, the Ric Flair drip song is like one of the Migos uh, oh, really? doing a song with the producer, and he performed that song live. And I realized that the Migos ain't the Migos without all of the Migos. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't it don't. Mm, it don't really like it. It didn't really work, and, and they even they even had um, Ric Flair himself was actually in the video, and he actually showed up to that performance. Woo! <laughs> Just step it in, like because <laughs> that's what Ric Flair does. That's what Ric Flair does. So that's what's up, man. That's cool. I know that's kind of yeah. loud, but you know, I lean back yeah. some. So, yeah. but no, man. Well, that's 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 cool. I'm you know I'm not a mega. I, I try. I'll have to give it another shot. I'll have to give it another shot, I guess. I'm gonna have to give no, it another see, shot, the, man. The, the, the difference between me is I like playing this stuff in the car because I'm a fan of Lowe's. Like I like I need I need well when I get a new car, I am definitely plotting on a sub. Like I want a sub. I don't need a big <laughs> sub. I just need a sub. I need a sub to handle my lows without without messing oh, okay. up, without messing up my speakers because so I, what you're trying I, to get 110 or you're trying to get like two or you like like what no i, I just need one i just need one just 110 need yeah. yeah you can get I'll your nice one. little audio box uh it's kind of, i can't remember the name of it but it's uh yeah it's you well you have two parallel sides and one of them slants out you can get you one of them boxes you know what i mean where it's uh, flat back here right here flat up top and then it slants down you know what i'm saying so you can get you one of those you know like you can get you I one i get one of those Get one of those, you know what I'm <laughs> but I mean, if you get in a new car, you might your, your new your new ride might have a, a decent system. My 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 car has a decent system in it. No, but I, I, no it. even if it has a decent system, like listening to stuff like the Migos will tear your speakers apart. I got a speak. I got a speaker that's buzzing right now that <clears> I can't really do much about it. And look, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell y'all. Okay, so a long time ago, I was having issues with my radio. And I should have replaced this thing like years ago. I got a Sony Explode radio that I've had for like years. Boy, that was my jam in my car, dog. Simpson, yeah. remember that Sony Explode? It had the removable yeah. face, detachable yeah. face, son. Yeah. Uh, so I got the Sony Explode, but something is wrong with my aux jack. So if mm. I don't get it, if I don't get it just right, it only plays out the right side. Oh, so so time out. Time out. Um. I'm going to send you a, a sound system that I put in my old SUV and an alternate one that's in my wife and my son's car that actually plugs in via Bluetooth, has an extensions out for subwoofers and are about 210 watts a piece. So that's all you really need. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to send that to you because you need that. Um, yeah, I ain't, about to put, I'm just, I ain't about to put it in this car. I know you're about to put it in this car, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna send you the link. You can take a look at them and yeah. tell me which one you like. Both of them come with. They even come with um. If you get it installed and stuff, they even come with the with the phone, so you can um so you can hands free calling. So it's greatness, man. You use Bluetooth and everything. Sorry, that's my dog. Y'all know how he is when people barking at the door. My son that's is coming in. He always uses the front door. So um, but um, that's my but, dog. I, that's an actual song, like like that's popping right now. That's my dog. I don't know if that's the real name of the song, but that don't jam, it, especially in the whip. Like if you put if you put that's my dog on in the whip, that don't it, it yeah. got lows. Does it? It got lows. Does I'm it? a fan of lows because like that's you know like the other day I was in the car with Pooh Bear and I put on uh -huh. the Wendy's mixtape because the Wendy's mixtape got them lows. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. It does. It got, it got them lows. So I put on yeah. the Wendy's mixtape in the whip. Word up. 
No, man. I, so, shoot, that's crazy, man. We'll have to come back to what we would say to our 2000s. We'll have to look at different sales. We'll have to look at 1998, you know, senior year self. We'll have to look at those things. And, um, and hey, you uh, know what? If, really if 90, 98, that was when I graduated high school. I probably Me too. would have, I probably would have said, don't be stupid. Go ahead and go into the military. Okay. All right. I, cho- I chose not to at the last minute. Um, because at the time I was gonna have a child in '98, so I, I didn't know what to do with myself. Like I, I look, I barely, you know, I was a, I was a C student on purpose. Like because I knew, I knew, I knew, I ain't nobody had no money to send me to school, so I was a C student on purpose. I passed the ASVAB straight up in the in the uh, in the eleventh grade. I had everything straight, ready to go for when I graduated because I was about to be a father, and I was gonna leave like a month after I became a father to go into the mm. military. See, here's the thing, man. Like I knew we didn't have any money, man, but that made me work just harder. Like my mom was like, look, I ain't got no money to see the school, so you gonna have to get a scholarship. I'm like, all right, word up. Then that means because I used to go to all the graduations in town, I'm like, that means I need to be a valedictorian. So I worked hard enough to become a co valedictorian. No, no, yeah, man. yeah, I'm B. Too, yeah, B. I'm too, I'm too lazy to be a valedictorian. Like, come on, man. That's all kinds of work. That's how much no way. Is, bruh. It's just bruh. It, it, so look at look you, at valedictorian. Here taking, like I'll be out here taking AP classes and all that other nonsense. No, 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 no. Look, no, look at valedictorian like cleaning up your kitchen, right? Like if you let it go too long and you got so much work to make up, it's a long, just depressing, n- unfun day. But if you get it in order from the jump and then as you go, you keep it in order, it's a lot less work. And that's that's what I'm trying to tell people. Like it's, it's a lot less work. Now, so, I, started, I started from the bottom. Now I'm here. Stupid man, <laughs> stupid man, surrounded by a cloud of vape smoke. Um, all right, man, let's get into this, man. Yeah, and I um, got my voice meter to, to get out the uh, I ain't got the voice meter to take out the sound, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. And I appreciate it, I appreciate it. So, all right, PC running slow. <laughs> Simpson said he on he was scar on these grades, but Simpson, you played sports, man. Like, don't act like I, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't come to Truman on the part, I didn't, partial football, I didn't feel, too. like he had academic I, and football. But see, I didn't feel like I didn't feel like I was challenged by school enough. Like I, you know, I was a C student on purpose because I was I liked school for the social aspect of school. I didn't right. really like school for school. Right. Well, a lot of people like school for the social aspect of school. You know what I mean? But for me, I enjoyed learning. So, and, which is you know, pretty much what's happening with Pooh Bear right now. Her her favorite subject is lunch. <laughs> That's pretty much it, huh? When she can get out there and kick it, um, man. Let me tell you, um, being 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 a father, like I gotta, you gotta, you gotta come up with these speeches, like, yes. and like, and, and she she be coming home with D's and stuff, and I'm like, I know I was getting D's and F's when I was in the the grades that she was in. I failed third grade, not because I didn't, I didn't. Uh, not because I was stupid, it's because I didn't want to do the work. But uh, and and I tried to hustle the system, and then the system got me. But um, mm. ooh, me. yeah, there he is. There okay, is. You, yeah, you went away for yeah. But I, I tried to hustle the system, and I and 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 then it was like nah. So nah. um, nah. Um, so like trying to like tell her to do better in school when I wasn't doing very good at that time either is <laughs> like I, I feel like a straight hypocrite like I, I mean right. I feel because Pooh Bear is so much like me that it's it's really hard to say like don't be like me like like and like and I know like when Pooh Bear is like I, I'm the smartest person you know so like so <laughs> and then like and then when I, when I say like I didn't have very good grades at this time She'd be like, oh, so then I'm gonna still end up being smart. Who bear thinks. Right. So like she's cool, she's cool with it. But like, I'm like, I don't want you to be cool with this. I don't want you to be cool with these. Like, yeah, like, man. I've had to have the, I've had to have those talks a, a few times, right? And uh I'm happy because my oldest now, he um he just said he calculated his grades up for this semester. He he has straight A's this semester. Um and uh, but I've had to have that talk. I'm just like, you know what, man, it's you know, you can sit back and not do anything. But, you know, um, 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Simpson Mitch got straight A's right now. But I, I had to tell him, like, look, man, it's look, it's never it's never as good as it can be until you do as good as you can do. It's just that simple. Like if you leaving something out there on the table, well, then that's not your best effort. And, no, you know, no, you you leave something on the table. Somebody else is going to eat it. Right. You, you <laughs> <laughs> Word up. Pause. Um, look, look, just listen. That is what it is like. And so I, I try to stress to him, like, look, you really got to give it your all because do the best that you can. And you have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I did the best that I could. Like, you have to be able to do that um, because, you know, you're sitting up here, you got a free ride. Your only job right now is to be a student. That's your only job. That's your only job. I expect you to do that well. I expect you to do your chores around here, and I expect you to go to school and be a student. That means I expect you to be quiet when they teach you talking. I expect you to know what your homework is and to get it done early. So that's what I expect. Yeah, it's one of those. You got to get one of those speeches like, I don't expect you to be perfect because ain't nobody perfect but God. But I expect you to be excellent. <laughs> See, look at Simpson. See, this is why this is why Simpson ain't got no kids. I expect you to hustle and be about that life. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what? I did. I did very well with my 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 middle school and high school hustle was greatness. Like, I bought. I I was buying consoles with the money I was flipping in in middle school and especially high school. I was. I bought. I bought. I bought myself two playstations. I got. I got. You know I me. Mean? Like, I I I flipped. I flipped my That's Super great. Nintendo. Like, bruh, I was out here hustling, dog. Like, for real. Hey, I ain't mad at you, man. I ain't mad at you, man. You out, you out there about them ducats, getting that life in. But yeah. listen, man. All so, you gotta do, all you gotta do, is get a hook up with somebody who got a <laughs> Costco card. We got a Costco coming here, so I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, I miss so Costco. Like, I miss them hot dogs, bro. Pause. Man, it's valid. And the pe- valid. And the pe- <laughs> And the pizza, the pizza, the pizza the was pizza. pretty good too. You know, you just get you a slice of pizza, and it was like a big slice of pizza, it's like two dollars. Word. Right, right. Yeah, Sam, Sam's does similar. They do similar stuff, man. And, um, and they ain't the same, bro, bro. They ain't the same. They ain't, ain't the same. That okay. Ain't like that, I said, I look possible. forward. To ain't that All right. So, so Mike, you know, you're talking about you having to make speeches and stuff, you know, as a dad, and you know, a lot of times in life, bro, a lot of times you get things that just pop up come around the corners like curveballs, right? So, oh, um, recently, um, come to find out, I had to do more stuff at home. Just, um, I had to do more stuff at home. And so now, bruh, I'm dog tired today. <laughs> I mean, I am dog tired today. I have had to, I think I've cooked every meal since Friday evening. Um, I have gone to the grocery store. I have um uh, picked up kids from school now and um like man like i'm telling you man when life throws you curveballs y'all like you just gotta be able to know how to catch them <laughs> you went, your honey do list went from zero to exponential uh for real like <laughs> I, you know what i did the other you know what i did yesterday i i just needed to take 20 minutes and i just banged some god of war just to just to or i banged some of this game extension which i'll talk about later i was just banging just to yeah. <laughs> <Boy. laughs> so yeah man so i was just like man i need a break bro like i just needed some time just to break and and mentally pause for a minute but like so so this is what i would tell my 2007 self Right. Like, listen, listen, anytime you're feeling overstressed, you need to give yourself a moment of of rest, like a moment of pause just to think, collect your thoughts. Right. To, um, I guess, to kind of work everything else out and then perform, you know, plot a plan to move forward. Like you got to prep. You got to prep that. Otherwise, you're just going to be running around and you're going to feel like you ain't getting nothing accomplished and you're going to feel like you're behind the eight ball all the time. But that's why I, that's how I feel. So hopefully, um, hopefully this won't be for more than a month. Hopefully. But I'm telling you, I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted, bro. And it's only been a few days. So um, yeah, it's rough, man. It's rough, dog. So but, yeah. but I mean, that's what you do for the for the ones you love. You know what I'm saying? You that's true, man. For real. You do it for the ones you love. For real. For real, though, dog. 
Like, for real though. So so Mike, you know it's been a while since we got uh since we got kind of racial on here. Um but I wanted to bring up something that I thought was funny. I thought it was I thought it was I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's a, a slant of viewpoint. But so you tell me. Okay, so there were there was a group of people celebrating a birthday party, a group of black, um, I guess, diners, right? They went into this uh, Chinese restaurant and they sit down and the server came over, took their order stuff. was like, look, you guys got to prepay for your food. And so he was like, well, all right, well, whatever. So they prepaid and they thought it was a little strange. And then they asked everyone else in the restaurant, did you guys have to prepay for your food? And they said, no. <laughs> so come to find out the, um, the dude sued the restaurant and won. Like he won ten grand. And um the restaurant, um, when when the attorneys were, were filing the suit, um the the there were no representatives from the restaurant in court. However, they did send a statement through their uh, attorneys and they said that the they said that where the restaurant is in town, they normally serve it or they normally serve some gr- vagrant people, so there's a lot of dining and dashes. Right. And so they said that they what they started instituting was a policy to have people who weren't regulars prepay. And the judge was like, nah, son, I don't see any evidence of this new uh, policy that you instituted. And there's nothing that suggests it was there. And you need to pay the man. (laughs) And so and then there was somebody in the comments of that story that I was reading. And they said they said, um, Look, I'm about to go to that restaurant next week. <laughs> Just like, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going as soon as humanly possible. Right. Wait, wait, like as soon as we, it's, it's like, where? Wait till I get my check. Like, right. <laughs> wait till I get my check. I'm going to go. Oh, we, we get some Chinese tonight. Tonight, man. Yeah. And um, but but it was funny though, man, because he was talking about how um in Toronto, how um. A lot of people think that there's not much racism in Canada and Toronto particularly is like, but it's oh, no, kind of it's, wrong. It's, it's pretty bad because I, I follow um, I follow uh, Clove and Shirley from um, Chonilla and they are they yeah. are Canadians and they post stuff all the time. And um, yeah, it's real bad. Like it's like it's real, real bad. Re- oh, like, okay. So they, they in South Canada. Um, <laughs> the Canadian like, South. Like, they, they in the Canadian version of the South. Um <laughs> But you know, but you know, Clove worked for um, you know, he does he makes video games. So oh, word up, word up. So man. so they not they ain't living in like the hood. I got a booger, like for real. Like, why are you That's calling this out on the show? Like all off in the camera. I, like, like, I, I, like I saw, I was like, what's that hanging on my nose? Oh yeah, it's booger. All right. I like note the 2007 self. Like uh just you know, uh selfie cam. Uh check out the selfie <laughs> before going before going live. Um no. No, it just happened. Like I, it wasn't there at first. Oh, it okay. kind of worked its way down, like with all, all right. this talk. Um, uh, no, note the two thousand seven self. Um, <laughs> find your find find your voice because your voice is going to be one of your greatest assets. Right, right, and get because I, I didn't start. I didn't start. I didn't start podcasting until. Well, I guessed it in 2009, and then I really started in 2010. Yeah, and get a good mic. Like, let's be clear. Get a good mic. Um, yeah. Because you need one. Like, it's a solid investment. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really about it, man. Um, oh, I do have... All right. All right, Mike. So what we're about to move into now is consumption, like the stuff you know, been watching, playing, or whatever. Okay. And um, last week, you had the Almighty Johnsons on there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about halfway through season two already. Dang, son, you already on season go? It's good, and I, and I'm watching it over with my girl. So, but you know she's slow on all, of it, so I'm I'm like I ain't wait. I watch it over, <laughs> but I ain't wait. You silly man. Oh no, man. I just ah, uh, I tell you what, man. I tell you the show that I've talked about on here that I love. And people really um need to watch, man. Designated Survivor, man. Um. I've heard good things. Well, Kiefer Sutherland, dog, y'all need to watch that. Y'all need to watch that. Like that show is really, really good. So um, it is on Hulu. Can't do it. 
man, these the 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 ads from the CW app are are are, are bad enough. But all right, if you, um, deal with your consumption. I got I got to uh, pause for the calls for a second. Okay, now as he goes away, um, I wanted to talk. I wanted to do this because I got a couple of games I've been reviewing, and I want to throw this in here. So, um, this is so I've been playing a game called La Grand La Grand Legacy or La Grand Legacy. Um, it is it the, the styling on it is kind of like an anime. It is a turn based uh, RPG summarily and you know it's uh it's made by smaller develop a smaller studio but i quite enjoy the game um now it's kind of difficult for me because i've always struggled at turn-based role-playing games i've always struggled lost odyssey is one of the few that i can actually play and do really well in but um i quite enjoyed it it's on pc right now uh, it's out on pc and it's pretty decent. It doesn't have as much voice acting, but the, the, the voice acting that it does have is pretty good. Uh, the There is a lot of leveling in the game. Um, you level up different and various different attributes like luck, strength, dexterity, defense, things like that. And um, I quite enjoy I quite enjoy the game. If I had to put it on the get a scale, I give it about um, I give it about three and a half to four star four out of five stars. Um, it's pretty good. Um, I enjoy it. If you don't, if, if you like turn-based games, you'll probably like this and you probably do really well. Um, but, uh, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. Now, the other game that I've been playing that is uh really mad cool, um, while Mike is out, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and filibuster on this because this is the one that I'm, so it's made by Iron Galaxy. If you're not familiar with Iron Galaxy, they're the people who made the, upgraded version of killer instinct on xbox one uh iron galaxy is the studio behind that and so this game is called extinction it is an action melee action game something similar to like god of war right but it's different because it's like horde based tower defense melee action right so what i mean by that is that there are citizens in the town you have to save and there are watchtowers that you have to guard um for a certain length of time and you can in the meantime there are enemies spawning around the smaller civilians you need to rescue and uh concurrently there are these larger trolls that are walking through trying to destroy these towers and so you interact with the game in a melee action way by going up banging these people doing doing uh various different special moves and then leveling up and jumping off of trees and gliding and then using a the little grapple hook and this was makes it really cool because it kind of is kind of reminiscent of attack on titan where they navigate around the environment with these hooks that shoot out their belt well this guy can do the same thing he can throw this hook shoot out his belt climb up an ogre kind of shadow of the colossus like and then get up and break armor and and break uh, helmets and things off of the enemies and then make it to where he can execute a kill strike uh, when he has enough power uh, right off the neck and then just chop the head off. So it's really, really cool, but you can cut the limbs off and cut the legs off and make the monsters uh, fall down. You can cut the arms off, make them drop the weapons that they're swinging to destroy stuff. Uh, it That game is really, really nice, but the voice acting is really solid and it's a lot of it all the way through. The production quality on that game is really, really high. Um, it's something I strongly recommend. I mean, it's if you like melee action, now it does get difficult. It does get difficult. Um, it's broken up into eight or nine chapters with about th four different sub chapters in each chapter. Uh, but it's really good. There's a nice, there's, there's good book ending of story and voice acting and meaning and purpose within each of those uh, breaks. So I strongly recommend it. I, as I said, if, if you haven't, um, if you haven't played it yet, I don't know if there's a demo yet. I don't know if there's a demo out there, but I do recommend it. So if you like melee action games, again, give extinction by iron galaxy a shot. Um, that's really stinking cool, man. So, um, and then while, um, uh, while Mike is away, I will, uh, I will go into one more thing because I know normally he's here. So you remember how last week we talked about how T-Mobile was tripping on the telephones, um, how they were putting up, uh, false signals and stuff. Well, now they're going to have an, an additional few million customers to do that with because they officially, j um, just yesterday announced their merger with Sprint and it is final. Uh, it is 26 and a half billion dollars. And uh looks like T-Mobile is valuing Sprint stock at, uh, let's see, I had the value here, but it doesn't seem too high, but I'm, I'm flipping down through the article. Can't find it now. But so um, Sprint has 40 million customers and 
um, T-Mobile is going to look to leverage um, their existing uh, Sprint's existing uh, spectrum and uh, in order to um, increase their coverage while at the same time they just bought this company called Layer 3, which is like a television streaming service. And so now they're going to try to extend that service out to those additional 40 million customers. So um, I find it interesting. What up? Ooh. Mike is back. You all right, bro? My fat ass just had to run up and down those steps. I had, to, <laughs> so, I, had to make, I had to go make this money real quick. I made some art for for, for my homie who was uh, from high right. school. And, you know, we we had plans to get it uh, get it taken care of this weekend, but we just got it done. And, whew, I'm fat. Silly man. Silly man. Hey, but I was telling the folks about how us how T-Mobile officially acquired Sprint, man, and they're paying twenty six and a half well, billion for them. I think the only only thing to say about that one is thank goodness that it didn't go the other way around. Man, yeah, that would have been um that would have been real unique and real different. But uh, no, I think the word I think the word choice is unfortunate. Yeah, that's valid. <laughs> that's absolutely valid. <laughs> uh, I so, think, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think but, it's unfortunate. But. So yeah, man. So it's it's different, man. I, I'm I'm looking. For, I'm interested to see how this is going to work. If T-Mobile can maintain their aggressive pricing, cost cutting, and consumer focused strategy, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen though, because, and I don't know if the FCC is going to let that. Um, I don't know, or or yeah, the FCC if they're going to let that merger go through, maybe even the FTC. I think the FC, FTC has uh, jurisdiction over tr- over mergers, but because these are communication companies, it could be through the. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I it was but it's going to be interesting. That had to that had to sign off on this. Well, I'm looking down through here, and it's not saying um, which one actually has to sign off on it. Uh, but Samson Samson said FCC. FCC, yeah, I thought so because it's the uh, it's a communications company, right? So they're communications industry, so um, they would have to sign off on that. But um, it's just interesting, man, because I, I don't want it to be where everyone is oligopolistic in the in the, in the manner where everybody's just keeping price hikes up. So you know the people who make the people who make the memory modules that people like Corsair and um, the people who make memory sticks that go on the PC, like so. Um, the manufacturers like buy the buy the raw memory module, and then the people, the um, the um, I guess the third party developers like Corsair and stuff like that. Um, they act, or HyperX, they actually put their cover on it. Well, the people they're buying it from are now being sued that um, they were you know price gouging summarily that they were that they were conspiring and collusive activities in collusion in order to raise the prices of those memory modules, and so collusion man so uh, it's crazy what's up mate i see you dog. what up me yeah i see you man yeah man I, man man many me hell, man if you if you've been listening to the show no many me be kicking the shit out of people he's taekwondo he do master. man like he be hey he, he for about, real dog he about, hey for real talk. he about he about he about to kick somebody for real for real what you need to do, Meef, is tell tell many me he needs to um he needs to t- he needs to suppress more of his hood Cause he don't need to be out there <laughs> slinging of things like Mini Meef is going to be like, he's going to be in a little sparring match and it's going to be going all well. Mini Meef going to take them gloves off and take that helmet off and be like, let's go. Let's go. He's going to be like, say it with you. Are you, all you going to hear on the floor is say it with your no, chest. No, 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 and then no, that's it. it. It's Taekwondo. <laughs> say it with your feet, dog. Say it with your feet. You, you, you got something to say? Say it with your feet. You got to say it with your feet. <laughs> So yeah, man. But um, that's nah, the show man. title. Say it with your feet. Say it with your feet. All right, we're gonna switch that. Um, but now, nah, man, I just find it interesting, dog. You know, um, I, but I man, I'm at forty minutes. I don't. I'm at cricket, so I'm cool. Yeah, you're right. You're right, and that's fine. <laughs> like I gotta do. I gotta deal with none of this nonsense. Like I, I don't even use my phone enough to even justify but, having the cricket. But but secondarily, you do because cricket, cricket, cricket. Um. Uh, cribs off someone else's network. AT- so, I mean, AT- you kind of got to look and see who has. Yeah. So you got to look and see how the network coverage is. And then you got to say, all right, who cribs off of it? And then, yeah, um, make something about you, know, you got to make your decision. But yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it is. It's trap phone. So, that's what I'm talking about, dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's going it's down. About that Maybe cricket. at the mile. <laughs> um, all right. So let me tell you. So I, I played I played a game. This this weekend, 
with with uh-huh. Pooh Bear. Um, now, because I'm I'm way behind on I'm way behind on the show, but because of everyday gamers, um, I decided to uh, pull up Portal Knights. Okay. And um, me and Poopy were having a good time. Like we completely lost track of time. Like I had bought some donuts. I bought some like the good donuts from one of those like oh, specialty dude. donut shots. We didn't even think about them donuts. Like we was like, we was in there like for real. Like, what for real? Nice. Uh, Trying trying to figure out the game and all that kind of stuff. So I played some Portal Nights with Poopy, and that was like I, I really really enjoyed that. Uh, I have not had any time to get back to. Um, to Killing Floor very much. I played a little bit. Um, I ain't, I ain't been back to Killing Floor or God of War, and it is killing me, bruh. It's really, Man, bro. it's really blowing me back because I like when I'm when I'm when when I got to paint and all that kind of stuff. Like I'll just put something on. I'll put a podcast or something on, um, and you know just kind of do that. But I would rather be sitting there playing something than to have to right. do all of this stuff every day. And I uh. Uh, Saturday Saturday afternoon, um, I went to see Infinity War. Man, listen, man, I'm I'm still salty. I didn't get to go see Infinity War. Um, Bruh, I'm I'm trying to tell you, you gonna you gonna say the same thing when it's done. Man, listen. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I've been hearing, man. Simpson was like, Jay, it was great. He's like, it was great. It was, He's like, it was I, mean, I ain't gonna tell you about it. But see, here's the thing. I, I, this, here's the thing that I say about it. No spoilers, of course. But um, Obviously. here's the thing that I say about it. Um, Marvel has built up so much cachet by mm-hmm. doing all of these movies and then connecting some of them here, connecting some of them there, that there is absolutely no character development in this movie at all, except for Thanos himself. Right. This is, this is like, if we're doing it based off of the Marvel formula, like this is the Thanos movie. Yeah. That's when, that's what my, my that's, oldest Mitch was, was saying. He was saying, look, no spoilers, but if you view this as a Thanos movie, you'd be fine. I was like, I already knew that because I'd actually seen like a, one of the specials. It was showing Thanos as like a kid holding somebody's hand and he was like a little short. And I was like, OK, we're going to learn about Thanos. Check. You, you, and I just moved you, on. You really you really learn about Thanos and like the way that it ends is like. I mean, like for real, like everybody who's seen it, like we all have that moment where we just kind of sit there and we just kind of go. Mm-hmm. See, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Cause you because me and my too. son. Like, my mans and them said that they had to tell him to leave the theater because he said he, he just couldn't move. Really? It's, yeah. Man, see, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. My oldest, we were having a bet. And um, I don't even want you to respond in any way. But I told him, I said, three people going to die. <laughs> and so I so um, but I hadn't seen it yet. And I never talked to him about it. But I, I was thinking because um, uh, Feige been out there talking about Feige been out there talking about how um, when people die in Avengers Infinity, he said they're not coming back to Marvel, even though they would have the capability to wrap them back in based upon the power of the stones. Right. Because you could change reality. You can go back in time, um, things like that. But he said, nah, bro, once they go, they go. You ain't gonna see them no more. And I'm like, man, quit, quit your line. <laughs> I, <can't, laughs> I know. Don't I even say a word. Don't even. Don't even. Please don't. Just know, no, nope. just know, I, I, I ain't gonna spoil nothing. I ain't gonna spoil, I ain't gonna spoil nothing. I'm just saying, by the time this movie is over, you just you gonna have this look on your face, like, man, okay, all right, I, like, all right, we're gonna do that. Like, I shouldn't have said none of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what you, so, yeah, that's, that's your thought. Yeah, your thought is gonna be, I shouldn't have said none of that. But I, I mean, I, I mean, here's the thing, bro. Like, I've, I've, I've been familiar with this arc for a while. Like, I know what's, I know, I know that's coming. But we're gonna see what's happening. Um, we're gonna make use of it. And um, whoo, I can already tell you, man, that's that's gonna be strong. All right, Mike, you got anything else, man? Because um, oh, also, let me tell the people. So Mike, Mike got a game for review. It's already out now, but he has a game for review, and he'll be, he'll be, he'll be uh bringing that to us at some point. 
once he gets yes. it, once he gets yeah. in. Yeah, I, I, I found a way. It was like really hard, like to try to redeem yeah. to, to redeem a code online. I, I did it. I finally did it at work. But to redeem a code online without using the the actual like app on your computer. Steam app. But like an, in the app on your phone, trying to redeem a code is damn near impossible. Like I had to like look it up, and somebody had to like send me the link. Like I know how to do it. I've done it several times, but it, it was like, nope, we ain't trying to do nah. that. Like you can't find a nah. redeem code link on on the website at all. You cannot. It's ridiculous. It's hard. It is hard. It is hard, man. Um. So yeah, that's why I sent you the instructions. I was like. Well, here maybe he can just do it like that. <laughs> yeah, so I, I did. Uh, um, I did the. Um, I, I started watching a video, so I have an idea of really what to do once I actually start it. Mm-hmm. So that so I ain't just going into this like super blind. But it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Like I'm I'm is is a game that you know the 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 people who play the games that I look at when I'm looking at stuff on um on YouTube are were really excited about this. Um, so, mm-hmm. and, and after watching the video that I watched today, I understand why, because it's just, it's one of those, it's one of those games for, for somebody like me. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, it's resource gathering, um, city building like that, that type of stuff. Um, so I, th- I think it'll be, I think it'll be fun and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah, man. So he's going to be bringing that to us at some point, but I've, I've, I've put my reviews. I've mentioned my reviews for uh Le Grand legacy and extinction, and I'll be bringing um, video reviews, but I'm, I have to use a brand new video um, software editing tool because windows movie maker, just they stopped windows stop supporting yeah, it. Yeah. And I, it's not on my PC anymore. So um, the- I'm now using Sony Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 did, well, I did. I re-upped um, when they they just brought it back out. So I I paid for it. I haven't downloaded it yet. I did record a video of me making one of the paintings of the days. Okay. I just haven't done anything. I just haven't like put. I haven't downloaded the software to put it together yet because it's in pieces. Yeah. Because I I ain't really want y'all to be sitting around while while I like mix paints and stuff like that. Like I could have talked through it, but also like I said, the biggest problem with recording those videos is I do it pretty much in my kitchen where my freezer is way too loud. So I don't even really know how it sounds, so it's going to be interesting to figure all of this stuff out. All right. Um so I am using version 14.0 of Sony Vegas Pro. Um, I picked it up in a bundle, believe it or not. I picked this thing up in a stinking humble bundle. Um, I think I, I paid twelve dollars. Is, for is it still? Is it, is it still on? Is that humble bundle? It, because it just came back. No, it's been. On. It, oh, did it come it, back? Yeah, I don't know. That's why I got it when it came back because I missed it the first time. No, I didn't hear them. Okay, I didn't hear them. All. No, I don't think so. But but anyway, I, I got it and I went and looked. And version fifteen is one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and so. I figured. I know. I look. I look. Cool. When I missed the humble bundle, I was like, "Man, how much this joint cost?" I was like, "Nope." <laughs> yep. <laughs> this was that's how you could do. So yeah, it was a humble software bundle. Um, it was a humble, yeah, humble software, humble streaming bundle, humble software it's, bundle. It's, it's called the is well, actually, mine just says the humble software rebundle. Oh, really? I must have missed that then. Yeah, but yeah. but yeah, so. I ended up getting that thing there, and let me tell you, um, yeah, it was, it's, it's 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 nice, it's nice, it is really nice. But I'm I'm have to learn it, so I, I have to learn. I know some people who use software. Vegas to 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 do um, podcasts too, right? Yeah, well, a lot of people edit their podcast in Vegas, like the visual stuff, because it is really good on animations and things like that. So a lot of people use it for that. Um, so, but that's what I've been trying to do. But it's just taking me a while to get used to the software. I kind of got it down earlier today, so I'm probably gonna bring Extinction first and then the Grand Legacy again because when I had to wipe my PC before, I I wiped everything, including a lot of my gameplay footage that I had recorded. So I had to record more in <laughs> in order to do it. So, um, but. It's pretty sneak cool. Um, also, the game I could be reviewing is Frostpunk. It's twenty nine ninety nine, and so that's that's the one we'll be bringing you. Um, it's, probably, it's probably gonna have. It's probably gonna have a. Uh, it's probably gonna be in a humble bundle soon, anyway. Right. It's already and on then, the humble store. Silly, it's already on the store. So. Right, right, right. I'm looking at it in the store. Um, that's where I got it from. Well, it was a humble store, but um, yeah. So, oh yeah, Sony software bundle. Vegas Pro 
Got that in December. Spent twenty bucks on that, and like I said, that one hundred ninety nine. So, and they have um, all if y'all are stuff in there too, so that's that's dope. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah, no, uh, I can't even. No, <laughs> Neef says, Blue, can you even see Scar by the time the show ends, or is it some two rock fog up in there? Yeah, man, by the time the show ends, Mike looked like he he had a concert. No, so like, no, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> like dry I, ice. Sometimes I do it on purpose. <laughs> right. See. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> so, he does sometimes I do it on purpose. Most so. of the time I blow that way, but yeah. For sure. All right, y'all. Well, look, we at seven oh five. I got to get up out of here. I got to finish cooking dinner. Um, and yeah. Get back so to that. I'm gonna list. try to sit down. I got. I got to get back to that list so I can sit down tonight and listen to Kratos say, "Boy, <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy." Um, but yeah, that's really about it. Um, uh, Mike, go ahead and give you chat. I'll start. Man, shout out to uh to me and uh Samson Simpson uh for for showing up. Um, uh, man, shout out to everybody that's that that. We'll be listening to this uh, on the many platforms you can listen to it. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Um, you know, uh, go check your boy out with the art. Um, I'm 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 gonna do this. I'm gonna put everything up uh, the way that I said I was gonna do for the uh, the challenge, and then uh, and then I'm gonna start selling some of this stuff out because I have way too much stuff. Um, so, Good. so yeah, it's it's gonna be cool. I just sold I just sold five very large paintings like i mean they're i so i just sold five 16 by 20s man yeah because he saw, up, he saw one he saw one of my paintings and said that you know he just he just moved um you know he in the military so he just got put he just got put up here right. and uh he said you know he saw one of the paintings Enough? or is he out there in richmond no he, he's he's in petersburg somewhere oh okay okay or um but uh oh there is a base out there yeah that's right that's right because we that's where we got our tickets from where we went to um what's the name of that place out there the uh, amusement park the amusement park up up here yeah uh in williamsburg bush gardens bush gardens yes bush gardens yeah yeah i, I haven't been this year and I, I still got my season passes and i need to go but cool, um, i need you to get that in yeah i mean if i go twice then the then the pass is paid for you know what I'm saying? Like Right, right. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. Like two or three times. So, all right. Yeah. I, I appreciate everybody. Um, you know, this is this is nothing. This is fun. And um, we appreciate you taking the time out to listen. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. Yeah, so um I hear what you say. Um Yo, shout outs to everybody listening. Uh, so shout, again, shout outs to Fadios for the birthday. Uh, shout outs to to Meef and Simpson joining us live, man. A uh, happy belated birthday to both you two. Um, shout outs to Humble Bun the Humble Store because I'm looking now and Vegas Pro on Amazon is 180 dollars. <laughs> so 14, the 14 version. 14. So um, the 14 version. Yeah, um, yeah, 180. Uh, but uh, again, you know, shout outs to um, man, look, man, shout outs to. Evolve Terminal, man. The, the the folks who provided us the reviews for the games and stuff, man. Really appreciate it. Mad shout outs there. And yeah, man. Uh, as Timo would say, peace, love, and happiness, man. Shout outs to everybody who chose to listen to us. Look, you could put anything else in your ear. <laughs> I was going to get on it, but I can't get on it. I got to get in there and cook. Um, but look, thank y'all so much. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, y'all have a great day. Um, have a great week. We'll be back in front of your eyeballs and in your ears again next week. Peace out to the Warriors. Peace out to the Warriors. Remember to download, dog. Appreciate yeah. it. I, I look. I did that fast last time. I downloaded you did. You immediately, did. And, I put, and I gave it to you. So yeah, and and they they, they just got that because I ain't ended the broadcast yet because I was in another window trying to download this Vegas Pro. So. <laughs> All right, for real. This is our peace out to the Warriors and all that. Peace out to the Warriors. Yeah.